Taurus. This will happen in the next 48 hours for September the 3rd through September the 4th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for September the 3rd through September the 4th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for September the 3rd through September the 4th, 2024. Universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Taurus for September the 3rd through September the 4th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. Taurus, you need to repent and get your life together. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Taurus, these are your cards, honey. Taurus, you have the five of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is conflict. This is fussing, fighting, disagreements, arguments, jealousy, competition, drama. But this can also speak to you being conflicted within about something. So Taurus, you can tell me that you're conflicted within about something or some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama has taken place here. Clarify the five of wands for Taurus. Clarify the five of wands for Taurus. Clarify the five of wands for Taurus. Taurus, you're at the bottom of the deck. It is clarified with the five of wands. What the hell is going on here? Some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, drama, or you're conflicted within about something, or you're conflicted within about some type of conflict, disagreement, argument, or drama. Taurus, Taurus, you have the sun. Could be dealing with a Leo, but the sun symbolizes exuberance, illumination, happiness, joy, peace, love, abundance, growth, and development, and freedom. Could be dealing with a Leo, but you can tell me that you're happy, you want to be happy, you're over the moon, or something was illuminated, something came to light. Clarify the sun for Taurus. Clarify the sun for Taurus. Clarify the sun for Taurus. It is clarified with the hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo. But right now, you're taking some time out to be alone to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but you can tell me that, hey, I just need some me time. You can tell me that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching or you went on the solo search looking for something. Clarify the hermit for Taurus. Clarify the hermit for Taurus. Clarify the hermit for Taurus. It is clarified with the sun again. Mm. Hmm. You doubling up, Taurus. Mm -hmm. Clarify the sun for Taurus. Clarify the sun for Taurus. Clarify the sun for Taurus. It is clarified with the hangman. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But the hangman signifies that the relationship is stagnant right now. It's suspended in the air. There's no movement. But you may be beginning to change your perspective. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but you're telling me that you guys are stagnant or something is hanging in the balance. However, you could be changing your perspective. Clarify the hangman for Taurus. Clarify the hangman for Taurus. Clarify the hangman. For Taurus. It is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, out of out, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. 
But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid. So Taurus, you can tell me that you're highly suspicious. You have your guard up, you don't trust. You can tell me that you're guarding something. You can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground. Now, Taurus, listen. You can tell me that maybe you're just conflicted within. And you're soul searching concerning your happiness. Something is on hold because you just don't know if it'll make you happy. Or Taurus, you're telling me that something was illuminated. Something came to light and you just want to be by yourself. You don't trust them. You're going stagnant with them. It could have been some type of drama that took place here. Taurus, you have the Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you. Agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So Taurus, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Clarify the Six of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Six of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Six of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the Three of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited, and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry, and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited, and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third-party situation going on. So Taurus, you can tell me you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting, or there's a third party. Now, Taurus, you can tell me that it was something maybe hanging in the balance concerning your happiness and you finally decided to just move on and, you know, have just cause to celebrate, Taurus. Taurus, you can tell me that you're moving out, moving on, moving away from the relationship because there was a third party. That's what was illuminated, some type of competition in the picture. Taurus, you could also tell me that you're just going to let it, let bygones be bygones and reunite with this person. Taurus, you have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone, demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Taurus, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Taurus. It is clarified with the Eight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. This is you detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. So Taurus, you can tell me that you're walking away, detaching emotionally, but when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment, and oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So you could be walking away or returning. Taurus, you can tell me that you guys are having some type of confrontation, some type of drama here, and you're walking away. Taurus, you can tell me that maybe you want to return and set the record straight or something. Maybe hoping that you guys can put it behind you, but I feel like some type of drama took place here. And like I said, it could be because some type of competition is in the picture here. Taurus, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into you. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So Taurus, some type of opportunity of practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or a commitment. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Taurus. 
clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Taurus. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles for Taurus. It is clarified with the Five of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is you feeling remorse and regrets, hurts, crying on the inside over all the time that has spilled out, all the effort and energy that has spilled out, all the love that has spilled out. This is you mourning the loss of this relationship, disappointed on how things pan out in the relationship. So Taurus, you're telling me that you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed here. However, you could be feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played. Taurus, you can tell me you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed because of some type of maybe practicality. You guys got into an argument maybe over practicality. Taurus, you can tell me that you're hurt, you're mourning, you're disappointed because they accepted a gift, gave a gift, went out on a date with someone else. They had a third party and bought competition in the picture. Taurus, you can tell me that you're feeling remorse and regret for the part that you played in. You want to return and set the record straight and hoping that you guys can reunite and just let bygones be bygones. I'm going to take a look at the Twin Flames Exposed for you and your partner, Taurus. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. And it says, I wasn't ready to settle down. I wasn't ready to settle down. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Taurus. And it says, I am not available. I am not available. Taurus, this is what happened in the next 48 hours for September the 3rd through September the 4th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.